1948, I was over there. End of the mandate in Palestine. Private Mott. Skinny little idiot I was. Stood on this rooftop in the middle of a skirmish. Like a blizzard, all them bullets in the air. <laughs> the world gone mad. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to listen to an old man's tales, do you? I'm older than you. Get away. I'm 906. Oh, really, though? Yeah. 900 years. We must look like insects to you. <laughs> I think you look like giants. Listen, I, I want you to have this. I've kept it all this time, and I thought... No. No, but if you take it, you could... No. You had that gun in the mansion. You could have shot the master there and then. Too scared, I suppose. I'd be proud. Of what? If you were my dad. Oh, come on, don't start. <laughs> well, you said you were told he will knock four times and then you die. Well, that's him, isn't it? The master. That noise in his head. The master is going to kill you. Yeah. Then kill him first. And that's how the master started. It's not like I'm an innocent. I've taken lives. I got worse, I got clever. Manipulated people into taking their own. Sometimes I think a Time Lord lives too long. I can't. I just can't. If the Master dies, what happens to all the people? I don't know. Doctor? What happens? The template snaps. Well, they go back to being human. They're alive. And human. And don't you dare, sir. Don't you dare put him before them. Now, you take this. That's an order, Doctor. Take the gun. You take the gun and save your life. And... Please don't die, you're the most wonderful man on earth. I don't want you to die. 